So this most recent time when you got out, Thug really gave you two hundred thousand, right? When you got out, for sure. What was that like? How'd that feel? Man, I ain't never had two hundred thousand. It was my first time, so you got to know how that felt like. In cash, yeah, I'm still. I've definitely had never seen two hundred k in cash. Yes. Yeah. He gave it to me, and it's like, I just, it, it was an amazing feeling, like, cause you gotta understand when I left, he was getting like sixty a show. Mm. So he at the point now where he can go get a million for a show. Like, and I ain't count his pocket, but it's just like he's way bigger. And he used to be telling me, like, he just told me yesterday, start car shopping, bro. I've been told you. Like, he bought going to Rose Restaurant. Mm. So he's like, he told me when I was in jail, start car shopping, but he just told me, like, all right, you still. So I'm like, man, I don't, I don't know. Like, you feel me? But I got a car, car away. Shit, like, I don't know. Like, I'm still just figuring it out. Like, I'm taking a day at a time. Yeah, because I mean, it's one thing for Thug to, like, embrace you put you on his album etc but then for you to get locked up for five years come out and for him to still be embracing you on that level i mean that's like a different type of yeah, that's, loyalty and love especially yeah. with someone like him is like he can make 10 new friends tomorrow he don't for gotta sure. be thinking about Me, yeah. something from five years ago yeah. and that's just that's that's how i take it like it's like i knew he was gonna be that but he did just everything right like you want to expect a person who that busy just to stop what you're doing and just make sure i'm straight like every time i'm there every time i call he there like you feel me? I knew he was going to be there, though. Like, mm. I, I never doubted it. But for him just to still be in tune and talking to lawyers and just doing all that, it's just like it showed me, like, like that's a real one. Like, it, it, it's rare. You feel me? It, it be people who take off and be famous, and they right-hand man from the sandbox. They don't mm. hear from them or ain't even sent them a hunt. So it's like it, it made me have so much more respect for him. Yeah, that's honestly pretty amazing. So, um, yeah, in terms of uh, one, one thing that we've seen that's been pretty funny over the past couple of months since you got out is this whole situation that played out with Sauce Walker coming at the YSL camp on Instagram and stuff. Yeah. And that was wild for us to perceive you involved in that altercation because, I mean, you've been through all these real-ass situations. You got locked up, all this kind of stuff, but it's all shit that just happened in the streets. It's not some shit that played out on Instagram. So right, yeah. it, it was kind of wild to see you hopping on Instagram and actually, like, having words for somebody like that. We haven't seen that side of your personality yet, really. Yeah, because it's like, he said fight. So I go on Instagram and say fight. Now, you said shoot, then I probably just flew a test. But, like, <laughs> to keep it real, like, I ain't like, bro, we could fight, bro. Like, you keep coming in here. Like, you, it's like more so you coming in him. Like, you want clout. Mm. So fight me, badass. Fight me. Let's, like, see what you really want to do. And he didn't respond because I know them. I just did time in Texas. Mm. Feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I know all these people. Like, you feel me? Like, Dallas, Texas, I did time in Beaumont. So it's more Texas. I'm the only person from Atlanta and mm. on the camp. So I'm pretty sure, like, he done did his homework. You know, you feel me? Like. I done beat up one of his little buddies, or you feel me? I'm saying, like, he know he ain't got nothing to call, or they call him. What's up? Yeah. Oh, now nah, he, he official. Like, so it's like, but when it comes to them, bro, like, I, I, I got love for Tess. Like, I got love for, like, Houston. Dad. Like, I got love for everyone, but just when you reaching, throw it in, got to say, let's kick your feet back, bro. Mm. And that's how my Lord to you. You did what I'm saying? Like, like, not, 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 like I said, like, if it's, he would have said some gangster shit. Then it's like, all right, I'm trying to kill. Right, is that I'm how you feel? Him. Is that if, like, if Thug really have a problem with somebody or, or whatever, then, like, do, do you look at yourself as the one who is kind of, like, lined up, like, you should be the one dealing with the situation? Or... Uh. I always been the one to deal with the situation. <laughs> that's, a, that's the feeling I get, but you're starting to get to the point where you can't really be yeah, that I can't, guy. Yeah, yeah, so it's like still a transition. So right. it's like, I had to catch myself, like, tip call, meat call. Man, he tell you, yeah, chill, man, he check out. Like, but, the, you know, the OG, they will check in. Like, they're going to tell when I'm wrong. And, I, and I'm not one of them youngest who like, I don't want to hear this shit, man. I ain't tripping. I can stand my screener, so when I'm wrong, I analyze him. Like, damn, I did react wrong. Mm. So this time I know how to react a better way. You've been in and out of prison so much throughout your life. That is there a part of your brain that just feels like you're going to go back? Oh, no, I ain't going back. But see, like, I've been in and out, but it's like that was the first beat. Mm. So it was two weeks, six months, five years. And it was like, you feel me? But now it's like, like, then it was more so I was forced to, I ain't, it wasn't like I wasn't in the street by choice. I, I was forced to be in the street. Mm. You feel me? Like, I was forced. Now it's like, if I don't want to pull up to the hood, I ain't got to pull up to the hood. Mm. I can stay in my penthouse, like, or I can fly out here, or I can just, you feel me, it's more 
more relaxing because I have some money. I have money behind me, I have a label, like I have a team now. So it's just like, I ain't finna mess this up just when it's starting. Mm. Or like, you feel me? Like it, it's too much involved. But is there a part of you that feels so comfortable and so sort of inspired by being in the streets that you just sort of like find yourself drawn back to that element? Because there's definitely rappers that I could think of who 1000% should just be in the crib. And you just will see some video and realize, like, man, that dude is just back on the block. What the fuck is he doing over there? Yeah, yeah, like, okay, being from the streets, it's just like today or tomorrow. It's always in your head. You can you can always die or go to jail. Mm. They're just in your head, but it's like, like if I'm thinking some negative anytime, I just rebuke it. Like that's that's like my prayer, and, and it's, it cleans me. Mm. But on another note, like. It's it's like you're a product of your environment, so it's like you you almost have to pull back up to the hood just to show love. Mm. Cause these be these same people who help you get out of there or bring you down. So it's it's like it's like down there lose lose. Mm. You feel me? Like you just gotta show it to them though. You feel me? Like I, when I just went to Miami, we drove just because I want to take a couple dudes from the hood so they get their experience. Mm. Yeah, it cost me a little bit more money if I would have went. One car, win one car, but I still want to show people like this, this how this this the way I'm living and this, which you can be living like too. Just like you said, your homie like he went to a couple parties and rubbed shows with the right people, and mm -hmm. now he know like what the business is. So I showed them and the ones who missed out because I was trying to get a rental car for them. The ones who missed out, they watching on Instagram like, how long y'all gonna be down there, man? We trying to come, mm -hmm. we go on there. Yeah, definitely. No, I mean, that's an amazing feeling. Like, I got a friend, Lavelle, who I brought him with me on a trip, and I realized, like, at one point, like, he's he's just standing next to this, like, like we were by the beach or whatever, and he's just standing at the beach so fucking happy. Right. And I realized, I'm like, man, this dude has, has been looking at the same beach his whole life. Like, he grew right. up in Long Beach or whatever, but he's he's it's a completely new thing for him to be looking at this shit for the first time, and I'm like, wow, like, I'm, I 1,000% take this for granted. Yeah, so, but yeah, because, for yeah, him, it's, probably, this is exciting yeah. as fuck. That's how it was me, like, cause I like you understand. I've been to Cali a lot of times, but I have never got to actually drive around and stay in my own house. It's always been like I'm with bro, whatever bro need, I'm here for him. And then if, when he it's time for him to go to sleep, and then it's, I could do, go do what I want to do. You feel me? But it's still like I gotta make sure he's straight. So it's like now I have my situation where it's about me. Like I just had a house in the hills. My dude had this, he got his house, then Thug got this. I didn't have to go get a house, but I wanted my own experience. Mm. And I shot videos and a couple of videos. And, but every morning I wake up and go just sit on the chair and just look like it's a pool right there. Just just, just get that feeling like, damn, boy, like, like I ain't taking this for granted never again. Mm. And that's, that's what make me know I'm not going to jail because I don't take nothing for granted. I don't like, when I was locked up, I miss walking through the grocery store. Mm. I miss pumping gas, and I hate pumping gas. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I, it's it's too much. You feel me? Like you can't take your your life for granted. So you you got out, and then the coronavirus hits like a month later. Yeah, I got out. <laughs> Thank God, thank God, I got out, man. That's, That's crazy. Yeah, but it's like I still have soldiers in there, so it's like I just tell them, you know, try to keep them fed and keep them with the care packs, like do as much as I can. I actually got out December 11. I got the feds. Mm. I had an open charge, and then I got out January 7. I bought out. Yeah. Okay. So are you on probation and shit? You gotta be real careful how you're moving around. So I don't do no drugs. I don't carry no guns. Oh, damn. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't, it just gotta be mindful how you move, like which is is kind of. Easy because it's always in the back of your head. Like I don't want to go back. Mm. I'm not gonna go back because I refuse not to smoke, and I have piss dirty. Mm. It's little boy shit. But so is that hard to decide not to smoke? Nah, cause I went smoking for the five years. Oh right. Now if it was the other way around in here, yeah. But I could be running. I like to smell it. Mm. I just I'm running. It. I don't smell it. But is that like so, like wait? So how, how many years of probation you on? A couple of years before you could hit the blunt? Um, three. Three years. It's like I got a cool PO. Shout out Dennis Tudor. Mm. I got a cool PO. And Miss Wade. So it's like he's a celebrity PO. So he understands everything. 
Now he still don't let me do drugs, but he understand everything. So like he give me my travel permit or like he just know. Mm. So, um, but there's a lot of people like who I've heard that they they got locked up, and I thought, oh my, that's that might actually be kind of good for them because they're so fucked up on drugs that they're gonna go to jail and they're gonna at least be able to get off of it for a year or two. But then I find out like, oh no, nah, they definitely are getting getting drugs in jail too. It definitely, is. it's a lot of it's a lot of drugs. Yeah, and they more dangerous than the ones on the street. Yeah. It's just because it's like it's so boring you gon you gonna take the doses up. Mm-hmm. You gonna overdo it, you feel me? And that cause of uh, people to overdose. Like I just seen a lot of people on um synthetic weed, K two. Oh no. Man. They got that in there? Yes. Fuck. Man, I seen a person dive off. Well like right up there with a sitting it. I seen a person dive off. It, to the head? Yeah. Oh no. Hit the head. What I've seen fuck? like four people die off of it. Like I seen so much shit. Like people get stabbed. Like man, the K two shit is crazy. What the K two is because you smell them smoking it in a uh, Skid Row with all the homeless people downtown. Yeah, uh, you 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 smell it and you be like, man, they got some weird smelling weed out here. And then you realize, yeah, that shit that shit causes people to do crazy things. Like, yeah, then it's like, like I done seen person uh, a Mexican start a riot. How did he hit the K two? Like he wanted to stay out somebody. Wow, really? Yes. And the whole rap part off in the cafeteria. Yeah. Damn. We gotta get. We gotta make sure all these kids out here don't start smoking K two. Yeah, stay away from K two, <laughs> uh, kids. It's not. Uh, trust me, I know. <laughs> There's like a lot of people googling it right now. Like, man, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Shit, got it. I'm with no jump. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, got it. And Young Stone Life Records. You did. YSL for life. You know what I'm saying.